clumsy. And that's partially because clumsy is a ridiculously hard to find curse. Only offered by a f couple of random sources. Or potentially from Niao. Guess we'll do a boss swap. Cage swap. One of my favorites, actually. We get to remove two cards on the defect. I'm a firm believer in remove two strikes, please. Interesting act one, though. Hmm. Yeah, here we go. This looks reasonable. Maybe here. We'll get a bunch of events. We'll skip the shop act one. But down two strikes, I think that's perfectly fine. Pretty much always play Zap over Strike. We rely on Zap and Dual Cast to do the majority of the damage here. I'll strike one more time. We can do 9 plus 16, not quite enough. Although if I dual casted earlier, maybe we could have. My mistake. Not bad overall. Wouldn't even mind adding one slightly better block card to this, like a steam barrier or charge battery. That said, uh, rebound, hologram, and beam cell are all quite strong. Hologram's extra powerful if I choose to upgrade Zap here, which I might do. Community balance patch thing. Now this I need to read up on, Merle. It's the first time hearing about it, or first time in a long time, if it's not recent. But I would like to know more. Community balance patch for Spire would be a, a, a pretty cool thing. And I would definitely have some uh, thoughts on what it should include. But I'd love to see a, a, a sort of balance patch of sorts for, uh, for Spire made by the community just to, to kind of smooth out the, the wrinkles that we perceive in the game. See if we can further perfect this game that we enjoy. I definitely don't have a full playthrough of Darkest Dungeon VODs because I've, I've never done a full playthrough of Darkest Dungeon. I can answer that one easily. I've started but never finished Darkest Dungeon 1 and 2. Mostly watcher nerfs. That would be that would be the way. Don't don't remove watcher certainly, but change certain cards to make the watcher a little bit more difficult to get going initially. And I have a, a couple thoughts on what that might entail. And I could get behind getting rid of secret portal for a twenty players. I am gonna go hologram because I'm a hologram monkey, and I'm gonna dig. I'm a dig monkey, and I have nothing to lose, except losing itself. Pay an extra huge amount of health for Happy Flower. Maybe that's worth it. Probably it's not. We'll see, I suppose. Any thoughts on how to make silent cards slightly easier to synergize? Don't give the silent so many starter cards. That's my thought. Removing two or maybe even just one card from the Silent Starter deck, I think would go a long way to making her feel more reasonable. I'm gonna greed the two health here. Honestly, just one less defend off the Silent Starter deck might be the way to go. Hmm, more good block cards. Still no damage, though. Do I dare? Was the game designed around A0 or balanced around A20? It was definitely not designed around uh, A20, as that was added after the fact. It definitely, uh, originally, I think the devs have stated that it was designed around uh, Ascension 4 or 5. 
or that was their sort of balancing point. Sounds like the intent of this mod is to keep the game interesting for the... ...sort of top percentage of players. And I could definitely get behind something like that. That sounds fun. Challenging fun. Although not what I would have expected initially from something called Community Balance Patch, but it makes sense, quite frankly. Might have been better to strike once here, but I'm going all zap. All lightning all the time here. Get him. That's right. The Burning Elite Balance Patch. The power. So am I meant to be setting up Happy Flower in the Lice fight now? I guess so. We'll take the extra one turn where we can. Better to have it on too, but we'll take what we can get for now. Quite happy with either a Sweeping Beam or a Tempest. Actually, with Hologram, I am a Sweeping Beam enjoyer, believe it or not. Seems to me like the card can get some good stuff done in terms of providing an AoE damage base. Uh, although it does desperately crave an upgrade then. I'm still down to upgrade Zap first. Getting a little worried about the Elite. We don't actually have to fight that Elite though. The Snake. Get out of here, Snake. I disagree with your premise at its core. I'm definitely not fighting an elite as I am. We're going to perish, surely. Yeah, let's upgrade uh, Zap first. See how this goes for me. I really like upgraded Zap with Hologram. As a free, uh, free target for our Hologram, essentially. Oh boy, and I'll anger the mushrooms, although I'm really wishing I had upgraded Sweeping Beam right now. Figured that might happen. Hmm. Trouble Town. Population Us. Abe Froman with the insanely generous 15 gifted subs. Holy moly. Welcome to the Cozy Sub Club, folks. Wondering if we need this potion in this fight. At least we have more energy next turn. Hmm. And also hologram reinforced body, I suppose. That mostly just defers the problem to next turn. I'm okay with that. Let's defer. So we can either strike the front one twice and hope to heck that it hits, uh, gets hit by one of the lightning orbs. Or we can dual cast and figure out what to do from there. If either hit of dual cast strikes this one, then we're in the clear. And if we strike the back one, then it's a 50-50 on the second strike. I'm okay with this. Let's roll the dual cast. Good. In the end, the fight went perfectly fine. And here I thought we were in danger. Now we're setting up Happy Flower. Let's 
We get the odd mushroom, meaning we take less additional damage when vulnerable. As well as a fear potion and another hologram. Hmm. Or a streamline. Pretty good with hologram. Pretty good for getting through this elite fight coming up. Streamline seems like the smart pick here. Ball Thamos with 34 months. Continuously change characters. Collect clumsy curses. Clone cards. Complete challenge. Thank you, thank you. Match and keep, curse key, Nyao, that's about it, yeah. There's there's very few ways to get clumsy. Embarrassingly few ways to get clumsy. Guess we'll just streamline the louse. So we can sweeping beam, dual cast to kill, then we have happy flower for the elite fight. That's perfect. Good. Second beam. What if instead of upgrading the beam, I just had two of them? Somehow that seems worse. Hmm. What about fusion? Fusion with a hologram and a reinforced body. That's an interesting thought. This is definitely a card we have to sort of uh, build around. But I do like it short term with our matchup against Legavulin. Uh, and for the Guardian fight. I'm down. Let's try it. That sounds fun. Definitely going to be in a pick fun builds for a while. While we're trying to get this clumsy curse mastered. So we're going to have a lot of interesting runs, I'm sure. Lantern's a great source of energy. It might mean that we want Happy Flower on a different number for now. But that's okay. We do roll Gremlin Knob first. <clears throat> there could be worse hands, at least. Turn one here. Pretty happy with this. We might also use the Distilled Chaos. And I'm also fine with that. Um, let's just hollow the Sweeping Beam for the moment. Hmm. All right. I'll do it. Rorg, etc. So, Distilled Chaos plays Streamline, huh? And then dual casts are Lightning. I guess we should strike first. But yeah, we're playing Distilled Chaos here for sure. That was a ton of damage. Now we have a guaranteed kill next turn, and we full block. Easy. All for the low, low price of two potions. Now we get a pen nib, but now we have a flex potion. FTL looks pretty good. FTL looks great. A little bit of free damage helps with the pen nib. Sure. Nib from Knob. Nib? Knob.
With this pen nib here, we probably want to upgrade Streamline. I'm also strongly considering Sweeping Beam as an upgrade. For Act 2, having pen nibbed Streamline is going to be, or uh, pen nibbed Sweeping Beam is going to be quite a big deal. And then we might upgrade Hologram or Fusion going into the boss. I'm going to upgrade Sweeping Beam. And I guess we take an event before the Elite. We could also go Elite uh, Combat Event. But this could maybe give me another potion or something. Because it was a fight. Good, I, I think. Guess we'll just kill them now. Charge battery. Probably not with a fusion, actually. Another sweeping beam? I don't think so. I think we just want the one upgraded one that we have. Or if we find another upgraded one, I'll take that too. Hey there, Anestrix. I consider Prostrate and Devotion to be the acceptable first mantra cards. Um, although, actually, more accurately, Meditate is your entry to mantra cards. Once you have a Meditate, you can take something like a Worship, a Prey, or a Prostrate, and they all become instantly very good. Here we go. Do I feel the need to contribute a potion to this combat? If so, I'm kind of okay with colorless potion. Could just do sweeping beam fusion reinforced body. Although we'd have to see what the sweeping beam draws. Where else is this colorless potion gonna put in work? I don't know. Three random skills that are free. Or a Mind Blast, deal 10. This is probably a bad idea, but I want the skills. Chill? Not a bad idea at all. So are we playing Fusion? Not if I'm turning them all into Frost Orbs. That's no point. Hollow the beam or hollow some block. With the frost, feels like it's right to hollow the block. Got reboot coming up. Hmm. I guess I'm not playing the reboot yet. You get him, Lightning Orb. That might have been a little overzealous, actually. I wanted to make sure the Evoke wasn't going to hit the front one, but of course now we don't get the Evoke. Because I killed it. You know, I've had smarter plays, that's for sure. Here, I guess we just want to strike this one. We're very likely to draw a block card. Or kill, either way is fine. Block card, there we go. Pobody's Nerfit, that's right. Good old case of humanitis. I'd say it's almost impossible to get all the way through an Incension 20 Slay the Spire run without something, without making at least one mistake, whatever you might constitute mistake as. Even if you play to snail pace and analyze every option, it's almost impossible. Hmm. 
go for another reboot mastery. I'm definitely down for an equilibrium here with uh, fusion, allowing us to retain cards. That can also make it easier to set up the pen nib. It's a really good block card all around. Blorp. I prefer having Happy Flower on one in most fights with Lanterns so that you have energy on turn one and turn two rather than five and then three. Ooh, another hologram. I am a true believer in hologram. I will continue to click on them, even, un even unupgraded in this place. Although we're going to focus on getting them upgraded maybe. Although perhaps we need to upgrade Fusion first. Probably we need to upgrade Fusion first. Undertaker. What kind of car does the defect drive? A Ford Fusion. No refunds to a shot. The focus is in the shop. Let's go lightning in front, plasma behind. So we can transform with strike here, or I can just block for 35, <laughs> take one. I guess we'll transform. Build your own runic pyramid, they said. It'll be fun, they said. And they were right. It was fun. And we should be back. Hello, everybody. Welcome back. Hit that refresh button if you can't hear me. Wait a minute. This fusion is here to be our friends. Yeah, the internet's been really clumsy. Or something.
squeaky clean guardian fight. I'll take it. I guess I could have set Pennib one higher at the end there. No biggie though. Did you know that I play games other than Slay the Spire? It's true. Catch me over on Baylor Lord Plays for card games, RPGs, strategy games, and more. We're offered Creative Owl, Machine Learning, or Rainbow. And I actually see the perfect opportunity to take our dear friend Al. This is exactly the sort of defect deck that wants more card draw, a deck that has lots of energy gain in it already, uh, and a deck that has a lot of starter cards removed. The more cards we can draw per turn, the more we can increase essentially our card plays per turn as a way of scaling this deck. I'm very happy with the machine learning here. Creative AI could also do some semi-interesting things, although a lot of the stuff that Creative AI makes has to do with orbs. So if you're not looking for orb scaling, Creative AI may not be the route for you. We're gonna take machine learning. Our dear friend, Al Sheen Learning. Do we want Black Star here? Maybe. Do we want Pandora's box here? Almost assuredly. I have no need for defend cards when Reinforced Body is in the deck. It's not a bad Runic Dome. I think the deck would thrive on more energy, and with Reinforced Body, we're often overblocking anyway. Let's take a box. I believe. A Beam Cell is excellent. Core Surge is excellent. Recursion is excellent. Cold Snap could be good. But overall, I'm quite happy with these. The Beam Cell in particular is a very solid improvement. And that Heat Sinks can encourage us to take more powers. Recursion's going to be a good upgrade. Overall, this, this deck is going to want a lot of upgrades from here. I'm not sure if we're, we're going to be in a position to provide all of those upgrades. But we might be. Oh dear. Well, either I go to this shop or I fight one of these elites. Or maybe both. There is an all upgrades, no elites route. Interesting. I don't mind that, actually. Of all the situations to skip out on Act 2 Elites after getting a weird Pandora's box is definitely a, an appropriate time. AV2, I have not played RimWorld before, so we're going into RimWorld pretty much blind. I'm going to try to orient myself a little bit before tomorrow's stream so that I can like navigate the interface successfully. But beyond that, it's going to be, I don't know what's happening. So it should be a fun time. Be ready to die a lot. Oh, definitely. Definitely. I gotta do some mod research too. Ease of use or UI mods would be appreciated, certainly. Hmm. This is not the turn one we were looking for. This is quite bad, actually. That can be our turn one draw. That's a good reason not to fight slavers or anything, really. Terrifying. Although our subsequent draws are pretty awesome, actually. So we can just hologram reinforce body and keep this turn going. needs to be four energy, right? Well, that's most of my energy. fight, actually. Ooh, Doom and Gloom. Hits all enemies, channels a dark orb. Might actually be unnecessary. 
turbo also potentially unnecessary with fusion and recursion. I'm actually not sure we want to take anything here. I'm gonna skip these. Hit the shop here. Noted those ones down. Thank you, Rekbar. Second shop is an option here. I might even go for a removal at both of them. Removal is definitely one of the premium things here. There's a few cards we don't need. Including potentially Streamline. No, I like the Streamline. We can lose Barrage then. Is the second fusion? That's kind of interesting. White bee statue is a powerful relic. Letter opener is a powerful relic. Letter opener means that if we can find an infinite hologram combo, it's also an infinite damage combo. Although it's also an infinite um, RSI combo. So maybe I don't want to do that. Let's just go to the next shop. Inloth hungry. Feed Inloth. I will give you my empty cage. Please eat the cage. Eat it. Gives you a large toothy grin as more tentacles appear from behind the cloak. Brandishing a neat looking box. Thank you. Give a box, get a box. That's how it works. Data disk. That can definitely make doing orb things a lot more appealing. With one point of focus. Question card is interesting. Honestly, just having two strength and elite fights could be quite the enabler here. We could maybe try something really fancy in the Burning Elite fight, even. Since I have two flex potions. I also think Panic Button is quite strong. Especially with Core Surge. Especially with Core Surge. So I can do Sling of Courage, Panic Button, go for the Burning Elite? Let's do it. I'm down. Super down. Can also buy Cool Headed. I'm not going to buy it. Uh-oh. Aha. Show me dual cast. That works too. Let's just try to full block for the moment. Panic button only prevents certain kinds of block. Because it's cool like that. I'm gonna go reinforced. Now we could go dual cast, then reinforced. Then FTL. Shuffle reinforced body back into the draw pile here. 
still trying to do this without taking any damage, if possible. I think we can. Here we go. Even though this avocado is doing the rudest possible pattern, I don't think we care. Excellent. Like fusion recursion dual cast. Cold snap. Cell reinforced. Hmm. Here we go. And then bonus points if we can win with the Pendib Charged. Which seems very important, actually. Don't care so much about the, the Happy Flower, but having Pendib Charged is very important. Dies next turn, guaranteed. Flower on one. Perfect. If this elite fight's gonna go well... It's gonna go really well. If it doesn't go well, well... It won't. But we do have an additional upgraded hologram, which makes me feel a lot safer. In general. We do not, however, find Sweeping Beam. Which is not good. This is definitely not what we wanted to see. Deep Thoughts with Baylor. I can still make this FTL do 34 damage, but I don't think it's worth it. I think we have to Equilibrium and hold. Which means taking a lot of damage here, as these all have plus 3 strength. Ouch! To win next turn, or not at all, I think. Come on, Sweeping Beam. Dang it. It's not Sweeping Beam. Although... Twenty-seven... Thirty-nine damage. Terrifying. I could Hollow Equilibrium Reinforce Body. Could even Dual Cast Reinforce Body. And then it's next turn. And we'd have Panic Button. Curious. Having this Plasma Orb with the dual cast next turn looks pretty important, actually. I'll take a little bit more damage. It's our last hope. There it is. Okay. We got the double hologram. I think that might mean we only need one potion. I'm going to assume that's what it means.
Okay. Not too bad. Got an ancient potion, an ink bottle, and a fission. Fission's kind of spicy. Or is it? Maybe it's not. Uh, we don't even have a starting orb. And that's... It, that moment right there is essentially why we had to take the sweeping beam in Act 1 and upgrade it. His preparation for this moment right now. I think we're okay to go for the next elite. This is the path I intend to take from here. I was originally, originally hoping to upgrade two holograms. Instead, we got an upgraded hologram, so I'll probably upgrade one and upgrade recursion and then rest or something. Ooh, bonus merchant, and we have just enough money to remove a card. But not for membership card. What a shame. This app's kind of nice at dual cast, but I'm about ready to remove it. If I removed Streamline, how would I kill things? I don't think I would. Pretty sure I need that streamline still. Ah. Heat sinks is definitely a detriment at the current moment, but it could easily become positive if we add more powers. So I'm not convinced that I want to lose it. Maybe I do want to lose Zap. I guess I could lose dual cast. Because we're going to upgrade Recursion. Let's lose Dual Cast. Take the unupgraded one out. I'm okay being confused here. Seems fine. Could have prevented it. But I think it'll help us. At least in some situations here. In part because of these holograms. Excuse you. Incredibly rude. Stinky snack. That was where I was supposed to Ancient Potion. Maybe. Yeah, maybe. I want to believe it's more powerful. That potion used in some other way. Let's get me out of here. Reprogram. I think that might be a winner. Get in here. Now we no longer need Streamline. By George. How's it going, Linusky Walker? I'm not a king in real life, I just play one on TV. And bonk to you. relatively fine. Take three, win the fight. Get 
to panic button this turn with no consequence. Now we can also remove Zap pretty happily. That's also true. Pretty zappily. Ooh, and self repair. Yeah, with the heat sinks, we'll definitely take a self repair. Since we're struggling a little bit, I'll also rest before this elite. Not suicidal. We've got some junk in the deck currently. So we get two upgrades for the boss. One of them has to be reprogrammed. The other one probably should be recursion. Or the other hologram. But I think three unupgraded holograms ought to be enough for collector with an upgraded reprogram. And I'm thinking use the Flex Potion here. Against Collector, we can use our Core Surge plus our Ancient Potion to actually block Vulnerable from the Mega Debuff, which is pretty cool. Block that Vuln. Heck yeah, hello the sweeping beam. That's what we're here for. Sweeping beam strats. Sweeping beam strats. Gotta play this. I not put machine learning in play. Ridiculous. Give me zap. Neat. Gremlin Horn really putting in all the work here. More work than I was prepared to put in. Wow, not only are we through the fight, we're do we're we've done it without taking any damage either. Do we at this point want an Omamori? I'd say the chance it blocks Two normalities for 999 gold is substantially higher than the chance we find even a single clumsy at this point. If we're going to see him, we're going to see him in Act 1. That's how I feel. Skim. You betcha. Skim's good. You have the story right. I started streaming Spire in an effort to force myself away from save, quit, and bad situations and learn to play better. Not quite geriatric millennial. That's why I streamed XCOM, was to stop save scumming in XCOM and be loyal. And I found the same benefit in Spire, but I started streaming Spire because it seemed like a cool game and I wanted to try it on the stream. Darth Ziggler, thanks for the seven months. Halor. Now I stream Spire to earn a living, but that's not why I started streaming Spire. When I first streamed Spire, I had, I think, three viewers. It's a long time ago now. Boot thingy. Love me a boot thingy. And we have to upgrade reprogram. Although that might impede with our plans of... Hmm. 
Let's play this. Bring it back. Okay. Let's see what's gonna go on here. Okay, we do get Core Surge, no early reprogram, it seems. Still maybe hoping to block the Mega Debuff in its entirety. Got some ways around that. Hmm. I could also use Panic Button now for a full block. I think that's quite right. If you go Cold Snap Recursion, not happy with this turn. It's fine. Draw me some cards. Perfect. So let's Hollow Equilibrium. Let's get our play set up here correctly. A little bit more. Equilibrium for us. So we don't get to play reprogram. I'm just going to use the two artifact to block the main debuffs here. Start spamming reprogram as a way to scale this deck. Oh, come on. No, that's fine. So we go. You just want to skim now? I just skim now. And recursion. Program. Hologram. Program. Or maybe hologram equilibrium. Now we gotta reprogram at least twice here. I guess I'll just pen him streamline for 57. That seems fine. Summon your nerds. See how this fight goes now. Not in your favor, I bet. Beam cell. Beam. 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 Win this round, Collector. And now I guess I'm just trying to set up Ink Bottle a little bit here. Yeah. GG. Become a mean beam machine. And clobber the Collector there. Could become a hyper beam machine. If we're doing negative focus things anyway, having a gigantic, powerful, pen nibbable attack does seem kind of cool, actually. There's also multicast, which can be pretty potent. But I say we beam harder. Get the ultra beam. 
Uh, curse key. I mean, it's still free energy, so I'm definitely taking curse key. Chaos Ravenwing, thanks for the prime sub. All right, now we just have to nail blocking double normality into getting double clumsy immediately after that. Easy. Easiest game of my life. That's the plan. We're the defect with a plan. It's just not a very good plan. go on for a turn longer than I needed to. It's all good. Carry in a bottle looks helpful. I guess I could take an algorithm. It's a perfectly takeable algorithm. Sure. It'll be 20 block by the time we get to the end game. That's fine. Steam Barrier is also quite good with the program. That's true, actually. That'll block quite well, and it has an upgrade. You know what? I'm sold. I'm sold. Hey. Nobody invited you, nerds. Snap! Be gone. These filthy non-plasma orbs must be purged from the deck. It is known. And? A glowing Tesseract. Okay, what do you got? Finesse, really good with uh, Reprogram. Bandage up's kind of okay. Secret Technique is good, allowing us to fetch any skill from the draw pile that I like. We also might have wanted to consider Madness, because Madness on Hologram is just the stupidest nonsense ever, really. But I'm perfectly happy with a Secret Tech. Balance not found. Balance must be enforced. I guess there's actually one more chance, huh? I believe... Discovery also, pretty broadly speaking, useful. You can do some fun stuff with Discovery.
Don't worry, we can outscale the spikers. We do, in fact, have a spiker solution. Second Equilibrium or Aggregate. I'm kind of a Runic Pyramid enjoyer here. That means Second Equilibrium is excellent for its ability to let us just retain everything basically every turn. The Voice of Moses, thanks for 41 months. Many moons upon you. Abacus is interesting. How does this deck feel about Enlightenment? There's some fun things we can do with Enlightenment. Carter move is also perfectly fine. Ain't nothing wrong with Carter move. Let's take a Carter move. Get rid of this stinky Streamla. Actually, Zap is even stinkier. Actively messing with my orbs. And now... We fight. I like that we can secret tech for fusion too. I'll get reprogram back, actually. Pyramid, go! Skim needs an upgrade. That should be an X priority. Skim. Busy. We're offered reboot. Without an upgrade, I'm not sure that's actually any good. Ancient potion for the heart could be nice. This flex potion could be good for the elites before the heart, though. We'll skip. 
And yeah, at this point, I'm definitely just looking to enjoy this run. This is a, a pretty wacky defect build, so let's showcase how it can be strong and win. Is the plan. Confusion down more quickly this time. One. Calipers would be good here. It is kind of surprising that Reprogram's not a power, but that's the, the real power of it, is that it is reusable. Infinitely. And therefore, you can do some pretty dang cool stuff with it. Especially if you're getting tons of additional energy per turn from Plasma Orbs. Art of War can help. Thunderstrike won't, though. We get no lightning orbs, so Thunderstrike does nothing. Sad. to most fights with a reprogram is just play it more. Re one reprogram on its own, not gonna cut it. Reprogram with hologram or with rebound or with echo form, now it's starting to do something. And if you can get all of those things, it's good. It's really good at that point. Yeah, I, I, I think it's a lot better if you go all in, that is, or program, rather than trying to hybridize or balance anything out. Because once you hit the point where your orbs are doing nothing, then you're no longer trading off anything. There's no longer a downside and an upside. It's just more upside for you've already maxed out the downside. Reptomancer, I was hoping to see you. Gremlin Horn says hello. So does Art of War, I guess. It's a lot of daggers, though. A 
There it is. Kerblam. Okay, don't do that. That's almost a really bad choice there. Okay, now we can get more programs in play, I suppose. Good turn. Yeah, Meteor Strike would really make this deck pop off. That'd be a great addition. Juzu Bracelet, just in time. Do we want a creative AI? I don't think so. I don't think so. Might as well, uh, Omomori block that curse. Could have also, again, taken Madnesses, tried to use those on the holograms as a way to accrue infinite block or otherwise do nonsense, but we don't actually have a way to retain any of that block, so I'm not valuing it very much. can scale pretty well here. It hits three times, which means it uh, deals damage based off of our strength three times, although it doesn't really feel that necessary to me. I will skip. Also, it takes us a while to get to three orbs, which I don't love. Let's just fight Donudeka. Call it a day. Hmm. Self repair here. I want the uh, Art of War energy here. I need the secret tech for recursion because I need to get going. There's a program. Okay, that was a really good turn. Continue to delete any card that can be deleted. Play a bunch of attacks here. Hennib is hyper -beam. Call it a day. block. We're at 10 and 10 now. This is the kind of stats that will easily beat heart, let alone anything else. And we can just keep going up from here. There's no, there's no limit to how much strength and dexterity this deck can accumulate in a fight. So we can just do whatever we want for as long as we want. Ain't that grand.
Nice. Bebron with 30 months, the three metric years of support. Thank you, thank you. Let's pull over program a couple more times. 2020 ought to be enough. Nerds. All right, we have full health as we go into the second boss, which is Time Slug. And I got really bad news for you, Time Slug. This fight will go approximately as well for you as it did for the other one. Although you've got a good turn one on us here. Spooky. Get the hologram, uh, the fusions set up at least. Let's just leave four cards. we'll just full block this and then we have to eat whatever time eater throws at us next turn. If we're lucky and it's a debuff, we take nothing. Otherwise, we have to take the full damage. We lucked out. Easy every time. Totally predicted. We can also stop the vulnerable of this hit. Yeah, that worked out really well for us. Pure luck, mind you. Just pure luck. As long as we continue to focus on playing reprogram, we'll be able to outscale Time Eater here. So I'm not too concerned. Attacks do plenty of damage, after all. No slimes for us. Unacceptable. Thank you. 
Easy peasy. Although I would prefer to end with Pin Nib 9 if at all possible. This actually does matter quite a bit for Spear and Shield. These guys are jerks. 42, huh? Hmm. Alright. This may take a moment. more. It's not too bad, actually. There we go. Ink bottle on eight as well. I'll take it. Two thumb, two thumb, two thumb, a deep pulsing dread can be found throughout the room is this. The heart of the spire, the source of all these grams. Holograms, reprograms, gram crackers. You deal 2380 damage. Have I been here before? Kilograms. What's our upgrade here? Is it hologram? So we have three reusable holograms. That seems correct. Yeah, it is. Or no, no, it's skim. It's skim. It's definitely skim. Forgot we had that. <laughs> definitely, it's skim. Now we have a choice here. We've got. Clockwork Souvenir, we've got Apotheosis, we've got Buffer Plus, and we've got Carter Move, all looking at us in the face here. Apotheosis does what? Upgrades the remaining Hologram. Not that much else, actually. Upgrades Hyper Beam, I guess. I like Clockwork not for the reprogram interaction, but more to enable this flex potion to work in the elites and to block the vulnerable debuff from the heart. That seems quite useful, in fact. Give me that. And then I don't take anything else, so the discovery would be nice. Is Rip and Tear any good here? I don't think so. I think our primary focus in the heart fight is to play reprogram enough times that we can comfortably block all of the heart's attacks. At that point, even sweeping beam will be sufficient damage. I think we'll be fine. For you first, question mark. This turn could be really spooky though, huh? Although you'll be pretty easy to kill next turn. You have low health. Ooh, we got fusion recursion turn one. I like that. Maybe EQ, hollow EQ. To block all this garbage. Hologram on sweeping beam is tempting too, but. I don't want to take any damage here quite yet. I don't have to. Let's also block the debuff here. This might get us stuck in a situation where we can't turn around. That'd be pretty bad if so. Thankfully, that's not what happens. Although I still don't like how this turned out. It's a shame this isn't quite enough to kill. If we'd drawn the Hyper Beam turn one and been able to use the Pen Nib on it, we would have the kill here. Got close, but no cigar. 
I guess streamline reinforced body ain't the worst thing though. Now we're in a bit of a pickle though. We couldn't get the kill for this particular foe. Got a lot of card draw on our hand though. That'll have to do to start. Okay, everything but machine learning is in hand. We have three energy left. Panic button is here. Next turn we might not get attacked, but we totally might. So it's a moderately safe time to use panic button. This enemy will have 99 block though. Pretty hard to kill them. Can we ever kill them this turn? Doesn't look like it. Can hyper beam twice, but that's not enough. My kingdom for a melter. It's close to enough. It's not quite enough though. So I think I hologram, reprogram, hologram. Recursion. Try to get another reprogram down. Contain my hand. This is not enough block, so if I want full block, we got a panic button. I guess that's worth it. Next turn may or may not backfire a little bit here. A little bit. Just a bit. There's no way we kill this, but let's do what we can to this fool. In that case... So close. Wait. Ah, so close. Alright, I'll just DQ, take the unfortunate amount of damage. I guess we want to turn around, huh? That means not EQing. Alright, fine. Ow. That's not good. But Mummy Hand does help. And a reinforced body plus helps even more. That makes me feel pretty secure in this heart fight. Even though we only have 52 health, we do have the emergency fury in a bottle. And a second spectacular block card, I think, will suffice here. Although this turn one is terrible. Unfortunately. Absolutely terrible. Hologram, hologram in a bit of a loop here. I don't even know if I want to. I guess we need to play this, get it discounted. Play this for one on ink bottle. I'll do it. So, not vulnerable. Being multi attack first, and we draw every program and fusion early. That's a very good start. I am not worried at all now, actually. I think we're fine. Let's go reprogram, EQ, hologram. I'm gonna hologram the fusion here. I think that needs to get played twice quickly so we have enough energy to do other stuff. This we can ferry in a bottle if we need to, although we don't need to because we have Panic Button. Oh, 
amongst other things. So we can core surge panic button if we want to. Might as well. Take one. Worst turn. We get to retain the reinforced body, we get to do a bit of damage with the streamline, we get to get rid of slimed and void. And from here, things should be very smooth sailing. We're no longer gonna face stuff we don't want for the most part. Get a bit of damage done. We want a secret tech for the reprogram. Keep doing that. Some confusion reinforced. Looks comfortable to me. We're getting ahead of the heart here. Although the heart will accelerate its scaling pretty shortly. I think we can stay comfortably in the range where that won't matter too much. Do keep grabbing reprogram at essentially every opportunity though. No prob. Now we need to deal some damage, so I'll take a bit of beat of death here. Look at that, cap damage. And we can do that basically every turn from now on. Thirty-eight damage. Retain everything. GG, Mr. Hart. Get reprogrammed. If you enjoyed that video, watch this one next. And don't forget to check out Baylor Lord Plays for variety content. Click the blue Baylor icon to subscribe.